Is My Hero Academia still an 85 on the moist meter? No, that was only for the first two seasons I think I moist metered. My Hero Academia is probably about like a 65 now, maybe. That's where I'd probably put it now. Have you seen the Christy Gnome story? That is the vice president candidate, right? I was actually reading about that a little bit right before going to dinner. I actually still have the article pulled up. She's apparently one of the proposed VPs to Trump. She was bragging about how she fucking killed her dog. And she was talking about it like a good thing. I didn't get to read the, the whole story, but I think the cliff notes is... She got a dog a long time ago, and she tried to make the dog like a hunting dog or whatever. So she took it on a hunt and then shocked it when it got too excited, and then eventually the dog went for her chickens, so she ended up killing it. It was absolutely unhinged. And now she's getting blasted by everybody. Rightfully so. Oh yeah, this, yeah she's the governor of South Dakota. She herself posted this, by the way, as a good thing. Her decision to kill various family farm animals, including a 14-month-old 14, a 14 puppy named Cricket and a goat. I can understand why some people are upset about a 20-year-old story of Cricket, one of the working dogs on the ranch. Whether running the ranch or in politics, I have never passed on my responsibilities... To, I've never passed on my responsibilities to anyone else to handle, even if it's hard and painful. I followed the law and was being a responsible parent, dog owner, and neighbor. No, you weren't. <laughs> you legitimately were not. She was trying to make it like a, I do the hard stuff. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I, I make the decisions others are too much of a pussy to make. I killed my own dog. But she failed to calculate that no matter where you land on the political spectrum, everybody loves dogs and you unjustly killed your fucking puppy. Yeah, I'll be playing Silent Hill 2 Remake when it comes out. As you said, Loki. Vote for me and I'll kill your dog too. Yeah, basically. Uh, in both instances, she stood by her decision to put down the animals, saying Cricket had an aggressive personality and the goat was nasty and mean. <laughs> Bulletproof defense. That's watertight. Cool. Where's the Where's the whole story? Because I saw little bits and pieces of it. It was something super ridiculous. Like, she was actively training the dog to be a hunting dog. And then the second the dog starts to do exactly what she trained it to do, she kills it. Let me find it. I don't think there's going to be a, a Rami Spider-Man 4, unfortunately. I'd like there to be, but I don't think there will be. I think this has the whole story. At least what the Google search led me to. So it was from her soon-to-be-released book, No Going Back, The Truth on What's Wrong with Politics and How We Move Forward in America. That is way too long of a title. Why not just call it No Going Back? Then it makes it sound like a Steven Seagal film at the very least. This is just ridiculously long. Fucking Harry Potter books aren't that long. Xerisub, Sinso, and Guns. The tale was included to show her willingness to do anything difficult, messy, and ugly if it has to be done. Yeah, because you have to put down your 14-month-old puppy. <laughs> yeah, you have to just shoot it. But backlash was swift against her. Just a month ago, drew attention for promoting and I don't know what this is. Cosmetic dental surgery. She writes that she took Cricket on a hunting trip with older dogs in hopes of calming down the wild puppy. Instead, Cricket chased the pheasants while having the time of her life. As a, as a dog would. So I guess it wasn't to make it a hunting dog. It was to calm it down. How does... Why, what? Why would you take it on a hunting trip to calm down your dog? That's like the ex exact opposite of what would make a dog calm. On the way home from the hunting trip, she writes that they stopped to talk to family. Cricket got out of the truck and attacked, killed some of the family's chickens, then bit the governor. She apologized profusely, wrote the distraught family a check for the deceased chickens, and helped them dispose of carcasses. Cricket was the picture of joy as all that unfolded. 
I hated that dog, deeming her untrainable. At that moment, she writes, I realized I had to put her down. She led Cricket to a gravel pit and killed her. That wasn't all. She writes that her family also owned a nasty and mean male goat that smelled bad and liked to chase her kids. She decided to go ahead and kill the goat, too. She writes that the goat survived the first shot, so she went back to the truck, got another shell, then shot him again, killing him. I don't know why she would think that this somehow makes her seem like she's able to make hard decisions. It makes her seem like an absolute sociopath. You didn't even try to train the dog. You took it on a fucking hunting trip. What did you think would happen? And then you killed it for doing exactly what you brought it out for. How stupid can you be? That makes you look like the most irresponsible human being on the planet. Is that how you handle problems? You're just going to kill someone that gives you a hard time? And you just killed a goat because it smelled bad and was apparently chasing kids. It's a goat. Goats chase everything. Someone who brags about that's an absolute crazy person. I mean, she is. She is actually a crazy person. She really thought this was a, a good thing. <laughs> I don't know why. She's getting bipartisan dunked on for this. Everybody likes dogs. And I like how she always talks about how happy the dog was right before she fucking shot it. It's like something she took pleasure in, killing it while it was happy. Dogs are like the most loyal creatures on the planet, and it literally did what she took it there for. And then she leads it over to a gravel pit, it was probably shaking its tail, super happy, making the owner proud, only to just get shot in the fucking head. How evil. Thanks, you said, Ember. Yeah, I think there's a 0% chance she actually gets chosen for the running mate for VP. That would be actually crazy. <laughs> that, like, that would actually be wild. Oh, yeah, I also forgot this part. It wasn't even her dog, by the way. It was her daughter's. And she didn't even tell her daughter that she was going to do that. I did forget that part. It was her fucking daughter's dog. Imagine coming home from school just to be told that your crazy-ass mother shot your dog because it was behaving like a normal puppy. Thanks to Tier 1 Skype. Favorite sci-fi movie franchise? Eek, I don't know. Thanks to that, Pandas. It's gotta be Dune. My favorite sci-fi franchise has gotta be Dune, but I'm a little cautious to say that because it, it hasn't wrapped up. There's still a third movie, and I really hope they don't fumble. But you know what? I'm still gonna say Dune. God, I love this kind of shit. She urges readers to pre-order her book if they want more real, honest, and politically incorrect stories that'll have the media gasping. Shit is so cringe, it's like old BuzzFeed headlines. The politically incorrect takes the media doesn't want you to know. Number six will blow your mind when I shot my dog. I have not checked that out yet, DP. I plan on checking it out soon, though. Definitely the Brenoriums, Jeremy. I'm still going to finish One Piece. It's just I've stalled at Fishman Island. Ooh. You know what, sweet? Hi, lol people, and no, I have not seen the Kansas stuff. And yeah, of course, I'll be watching Smiling Friends.